Okay, so this is going to be how to replace the butterfly keys on MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. I think it's 2016 onwards, I might be wrong. But the latest keyboards. You're going to need something fairly thin, but still rigid. I use this uh, little bit of plastic because you need to get in through the back key here across to the other one and then you need to push this down and it'll come out. The mechanism on this, I don't know if it'll focus, but you've got just here, you've got these uh, clips and then these ones down here are actually hooks, if you can see that. So they're the bottom, so essentially this hooks in at the bottom and then clicks down. So you have to do the reverse to take it off. So what you want to do is if we just you can see that's functional. You want to come in like this and then just work your way around. Careful of the bit in the middle. Okay, so now that's off, you need to bring this. There you go, that's off now, so you can see that's loose. So then what you need is a tweezer, and then you just lift back. Lift back, and then up. It comes out. So when that's there, you have to pull back towards them. That will release it and you can pop it up and then when you're putting it back in the same again you have to kind of just kind of start there and then that hooks in and then you push all the way down and then it's just a case of closing and pressing down okay so these clips are going to be a bit different so we'll do that from the these are a, a bit tricky so what you need to do is get something metal You've got four little inserts, sort of the same as these. You've got them one, two, three, four, and then the same on the other side. Okay, so we just need to come in here. Now I've got a better angle. Push that down, out and up. And then we need to slide that out the other side and bring it up like this so you can see these have got two orientations this is how it goes down like that so you want to make sure this bottom level is flat because when it's flat you get this butterfly connection if it's not flat like that it won't go in or it will go in, but you'll struggle, and then the connector will obviously work backwards, which will not give you the desired effect. So yeah, make sure that's like that. And then we do the same again. So you wanna start getting the orientation right. Like I showed you, you come in here, push that all the way over, and you wanna just drop this down, make sure these are in the right, the right way, and just pull across with your finger. Now that should be nice and neatly in the two holes and these two should be sitting in the channel. Once you've got that, you need to come over to this side, do exactly the same again, pop your tweezers or whatever you use in here like that. And then you just bend out, put that in. And then that should give you the desired effect. Right, once you've got the key, you need to make sure you've got the orientation right, obviously. This is why I used the O, because it can actually be two different orientations. Most of the keys you're going to know. So you need to flip it over and make sure that the hooks are in the right place. So looking at this one, this orientation has to be this way up. So I don't know if that's just going to focus on there. You can just about see the hooks there. So they've got to go down. 
So now what we need to do is make sure that's when you put this in. All you have to do is see the gap. There you go. You can see the gap there. Then what you do is you push down. And then when you come back up to this section here, I get my hands out of the way, you just literally click down. You should end up with a working key again. So fairly simple once you know how. You just need to make sure you don't snap those little plastic clips off because you'll be in a whole world of trouble. And if you damage the plastic surround like this one has, this one still has part of the cradle, but there's a section missing from here. So you can't actually put the cradle back in. Unfortunately, this is a new keyboard. Keyboards cost about 90 pounds and that's before fitting. So be careful when you're installing these keys. As always, thanks for watching and like and subscribe.